According to our intel, there's a cartel death truck that collects corpses across San Mateo and delivers them to someone called El Pozolero. Intercept the truck and force the driver to give up El Pozolero's location. Secure. We'll tell the rebels where to come get their new toys. Let's move.
Out of the car. Now. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hey, hang on, I'll drive. This is a message from the Free Rebel Forces of Bolivia. The cartel scientist known as La Gringa has been captured. Though she was an instrumental to the cartel's cocaine production, La Gringa has at times been our amiga. Before the cartel arrived, she aided our poor rural communities while working with hands over Bolivia. Even while working with the cartel, La Gringa Fire. ran a health clinic that was open to all, even members. As in the truck, we need this fucker alive. He's already got a boat back for the goddamn bodies. One of their strongest Ready? assets fire, into fire, fire. Cover her kindness. Opening fire. She will be spared her justice. They've seen us. Well, Posolero. For serious? Psh, fuck no, I'm not that Diablo. I, I just drive the truck, way. Nada más. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name's Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you want me to tell you where he is? Motherfucker, tell me where El Posolero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Pero, no, we should never found out. Bowman, this is Nomad. The driver gave us El Posolero's real name, Raul Morillo. He also gave up the location. Outstanding. I'll run Mario's name and send you whatever background I can find. This one's weird, Bowman. These cartel dudes are staying away from El Pozolero like he's got the plague. I might be glad there's such little chatter about him. Be careful. There's a lot of unknowns here. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on these missing people. Just got a file transfer from Bowman. When I was a kid, we used to live over the train tracks. Every time a train went past, I would run into my mother's bed, and she'd assure me there was no such thing as monsters. She was such a liar. El Pozolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. The first thing El Pozolero does is place the bodies inside a barrel which he fills with caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, then covers the drums, stirring occasionally. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. He pours this into a pit. Any leftover teeth or bone fragments, he smashes into dust. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. Their families have no idea if their loved ones are alive or dead. They can't have proper burials. They can't have closure. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozolero, the monster who melted them. She was able to dig up some background on El Pozolero. I don't like this. We got no idea what we're walking into. I'm getting, like, tense, you know? Kind of like a little nervous. It's like Bowman said, there are a lot of variables in play. There aren't a lot of variables. We just don't know what they are, so we're taking everything into account. We need a covert way in. I want to see El Pozolero before he sees us. 